Hi, and welcome to this video about Lambda and API Gateway. In this video, I will show you how to create your first serverless API by combining an Amazon API Gateway and a Lambda function. API Gateways enables us to create APIs and to expose our backend services to the world. In our case, the backend services are Lambda functions but it can just as well be applications running on EC2 instances or any publicly accessible web service. Today, we are going to create a publicly accessible endpoint exposed by an API gateway and connected to a Lambda function. This way, we can perform an HTTP request to that endpoint and this request will then hit a Lambda function, which will then execute. So, now we know what to make, but why? We need a use case. Well, I think I have an idea. Take the example from the previous video, where we got a Lambda function to store a list of birds into a database. What if we just want to register a single bird? Then maybe it seems a bit unnecessary to upload a whole file. So, maybe we want to create an HTTP endpoint where you can just do a POST request with a body containing the data of a single bird. So let's do that. For this, we need a few resources. We need a DynamoDB table, a Lambda function, an IAM role with some DynamoDB policies, of course, and lastly, we need an API gateway. Let's start with DynamoDB. I'm yet again going to reuse the awesome birds table, which I created in one of the previous videos. Now we need a Lambda function with access to our DynamoDB table. If we go over to Lambda, you can see that I have already created a Lambda function called createBird with the correct IAM access. So when we use Lambda functions together with API gateways, we need to know what kind of information can we expect to retrieve from the gateway. When performing an HTTP POST request to our API gateway, it sends the request body as part of the event object which get passed to the Lambda function. In other words, we just need to extract the request body from the event object like this. And we should also parse the event body as a Python dictionary. Using the Boda3 SDK again, we can write the code for putting the bird into our DynamoDB table. And at the bottom, let's just create a response object telling the user that the bird is safely stored in the database. And next, we can create our API gateway. Go over to API Gateway. For this demo, I will create an API of type HTTP API. I would also recommend checking out the other options when you create your API. REST API could, for example, also be a good alternative, since it can give you a bit more control over your API and provide some more options when it comes to configuration. For now, let's choose HTTP API. Now we get to choose which integrations to add to our API. So let's do that. Since we are going to use Lambda, then we of course need to choose that. Next, choose our Lambda function. Perfect. But what should we call our bird API? Well, why not just exactly that? Birds API. Now that's decided, we can go on to the next step, which is to configure the route or path to our Lambda function. I'll just write birds. We also need to decide on what type of HTTP method this endpoint should accept. This should of course be post, since we want to create or store a new bird. Now hit next. We're almost there now. We just need to decide about stages. If you don't know what stage is in the context of an API gateway, it just means that you can have multiple stages 
which functions as different environments of the same API that you can deploy separately. This way, you can deploy changes in one environment at a time and possibly discover errors in your API config before updating your production environment or stage. But for now, we only need one stage, and that's the default stage. And we want to have auto deploy enabled. Hit next, and then create. Beautiful. Now we have created an API gateway and connected it to a Lambda function. Now would probably be a good time to test our API. But wait, we need an URL where we can reach our API. Fortunately, AWS is so kind as generating a random URL for our API gateway, right here. So I'll just use that one. To perform the HTTP request, I will make use of an application called Postman. You can of course just use the terminal, but for demo purposes, I think it's a good idea to use Postman. Let's create a new HTTP POST request. Paste in the URL from the API gateway, as well as the path which was slash birds. Now we need to create our request body. This should be a JSON structured request body containing all the necessary fields to create a bird object. Lastly, hit send. Well, we got the response code of 200 and the message we wrote, which means that everything went as we intended. Something to keep in mind is that this API is completely open and exposed, so anyone with the URL can access your API. So I would recommend not sharing the URL until you have some form of authentication in place. And if you are very nervous, you can of course just delete the API when you are done with this demo. We have now created our first API using an API gateway, a Lambda function and a DynamoDB table. In the next video, I will continue to build on this API to make it possible to ask for information about a specific bird by performing an HTTP GET request. I hope you liked this video. If so, please give this video a like, and to learn more about Lambda Functions and other AWS services, remember to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon to get notified when I publish more content.